Okay, today I'm going to show you an optic experiment. I use a makeup mirror. On one side of the mirror it's flat, and on the other side, on this side, it's concave, so it's a spherical mirror. And I use the spherical mirror to make an image of the outside building and the sky. So I have to find the focus. Focus is somewhere here, about 50 centimeters. Okay, so you can see the buildings from outside. For the sky, it's much better. Try the skies. You can see the clouds from outside. The image is inverted. And not a very good, but this is just a makeup mirror. One can use also a shaving mirror to do the same effect. But I use my wife makeup mirror. Okay, this is the flat side, nothing fantasy, but on the other side, on concave side, I can focus. I have an image of the outside building. Okay, here comes the explanation how it works. Okay, so here comes the explanation. We have a spherical mirror, which is presented with the blue curve over here. It's actually our makeup mirror. And we have an object, which were actually the buildings and the sky from outside. And let's take two rays and see how they move. So we take one ray, I pass through the focus, go to the mirror, and then it's parallel the optical axis, take another one that is parallel to the optical axis, when it's reflected it passes through the focus, and these two rays intersect, and then the point that they intersect will be the top of the array. So this is the image, which is real and inverse, and we project it on the wall. In our case we project it on the wall like a screen. So that, that's how it works. So this is a spherical mirror, which could be a makeup mirror or shaving mirror. Of course, it could be also a mirror from an old telescope. And uh, these uh, spherical mirrors are used for the telescopes. The first spherical mirror telescope was built by Newton. And nowadays, most of the telescopes are built with uh, mirrors spherical or other concave mirrors. If you like it, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.